Hello guys, welcome on my channel Programming with Rana Vakas. So today's topic is classes versus objects. So let's discuss what is class and uh, what is an object. So guys, class is an package of anything. Class is a package of anything which which has some existence on this world. So while object is an instance of a class, it is life of class. Without object, there is no concept of class. So there is no limitation on objects that how many objects can be of a single class. There can be multiple objects of a single class. Uh, for example, uh, let's discuss about uh, example of human. So human is a class. We all are objects of this class. Let's suppose uh, human is class and uh, Vakas, John, Carol, uh, these all are objects of same class. So there can be there can be more than one classes. You can think about that there there can be class of fan which I discussed in my previous lecture. So there can be class of laptop, there can be class of mobile phone. Mobile phone has different objects. Let's suppose uh, Lenovo. Uh, Lenovo has different uh, different series of phones. Let's suppose Vivo V9, uh, Vivo uh, V7. These are types of these are objects of mobile phone. So these all have some characteristics, some behavior and there, there must be a uniqueness in these objects. So similarly, if uh, there is a class of medicine, uh, then medicine have different uh, objects. You can see in medical store uh, like uh, Brufon, uh, like Panadol, like Amoxyl capsule, uh, like uh, different different type different type of objects there there you can see that the objects these all objects have same class these are made up of uh, medicine the class behind these objects is medicine so let's uh, go on court block and uh, uh, make a class of uh, product let's suppose First of all, uh, you need to uh, make a project on code block. So let's create a new project on code block and name it uh, classes and objects. Next, finish. And now in main, you can see uh, here code. So always declare a class at the top of main. So class. Uh, product and the first letter of class should be capital as you can see that I wrote product and the P of product is capital. So it's uh, data members and variables uh, are product ID. So product ID can be written as product underscore ID of type int and uh, there is some price of that product. So price should be floored and uh, there should be also name of that specific pro uh, product so uh, here should be a string name so right here public uh, so i will tell you about public and private so for now uh, the public is called as access specifier you if you use public so you you can use these variables in main directly so declare a uh, object of name p uh, in main of type product so call p dot product id you are accessing product id and you are storing 12 in that variable and p dot price is equal to 2.5 f f means float so uh, 22.5 uh, so p dot name is equal to so name it panadol and so let's suppose if you want to access the data of these variables so similarly you uh, should have to write p dot name so by using dot you can access the data from variables so you can see here the value panadol 
so the rest of variables are id and price so let's write here id and price p dot uh, price to pre display the price and uh, p dot id to, to display the id of a product so let's run it again you can see here the three uh, very very values 12 panadol and price uh, 22.5 so you can make a function in product class of name display so there should be return type of void uh, because this function will not return any value so if function doesn't return any value you have to write void as a return type of that uh, function so I am writing me here all C outs to so see out product ID name and price so I will call this display function in main function so you can directly call this function because display is a public uh, function is it's access specified is public so let's run it again and you can see here same information 12 panadol 22.5 so we can make a multiple objects of this class uh, product so here is product p2 when you declare product p2 then for p2 there will be declared product id price and name separately these three variables will separately take memory on uh, ram for this p2 to store some dummy data in these variables so p dot name is equal to uh, soap let's suppose so if i write here p2 dot display so you will see garbage value on screen so let's run this code so figure out why this is garbage value so the reason behind is you write p dot product id you didn't write p2 so you have to write p2 if you want to store data in p2 so now the correct information is here on the console screen uh, so guys as i told you before that there can be uh, multiple objects of a single class product so there is no limitation on number of objects so you can make unlimited objects on the declaration of each product there will be a separate memory of three variables uh, so guys here is your task at the end of this video so make this task and uh, if you feel any query you can comment uh, at the bottom of my video i will answer you in upcoming videos or uh, i will try to answer your questions in the comments so declare a class of medicine and think that how many possible data members uh, of this class can exist so if you will be successful in writing the code of this class and uh, make different objects in main function so i will think that you have learned much more from my videos so guys don't forget